Are you able to love unconditionally? This is a major problem today, and that's what we're going to get into, so stick around. Hi there, this is Sharon Koenig of FearlessPursuits.com and welcome to another episode of Fearless in PowerTube. This is where I create videos to help you win at life. So if this sounds like something that you are interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. So are you able to love unconditionally? Unconditional love is not something that is so easy for us. Now, if you're a mom, you totally get this, don't you? Because you've had this baby living inside of your body, you birthed this baby, you have took care of this baby, and this baby can do no wrong. Even when they do wrong, somehow <laughs> we love them unconditionally, don't we? We accept them with all of their flaws and we put up with how they crap on us, don't we? Because that is unconditional love. Now, when we get into other kinds of relationships, you know what I'm talking about, those other intimate relationships. Well, we kind of stick our chest out and we cop an attitude. Well, that's not too cool when what we really want is we want to have this love, don't we? When we start thinking about it, now you think about it for a second. What do you really want from your intimate relationships? I'm going to make a guess here based on what I want. I want someone who accepts me for who I am, who loves me and adores me for the stupid things I do, for my little idiosyncrasies, for my little quirks. And I know you do too. And that's because every single human being on this planet wants love. That's right. Every single human being on this planet wants love. We all want to connect with people. And we want to connect with people on the same level. We want to feel like we're understood. We want to feel like we belong. And this is something that's innate in every single human being on the planet. So if this is something that you are interested in, Tell me in the comments section if you are able to receive unconditional love. I'm interested in this because this is something that I have not personally experienced through an intimate relationship. While I was able to give that for a long period of time, I was not able to receive that. And I see because of my training, because of many decades in, in research of the mind, I understand what's going on with people. So what we have here is people living in the ego. Ah, there it is. That is the crux of the whole situation. To feel as though you could accept unconditional love means that you have to get out of the ego, right? So when we want to give unconditional love, it's easy for us, right? If we truly can accept them, if we can see all of their flaws and laugh at it, but sometimes that's hard, isn't it? When you see them not getting you, Sometimes you feel like maybe this person cannot love you for who you are. And this happens sometimes. Now with our own children, we, we see sometimes that they are of their own mind and we just, we're not a good match, I guess, in a way because they are so different than us. And that's okay too, because we will always love them unconditionally. We might get angry at them. And I think there is a problem. When we start thinking about someone messing up, someone you love, and they screwed up really big, well, you can't not be angry at them. So that is a problem because you think that what you're doing is not loving them when they screw up. It, it hurts in a way to show them the mirror 
of how they made a mistake, how they made you feel bad, how they did you wrong. And you're not being loving, at least this is what you're thinking in your mind. You don't like the way that, that fits on you, do you? I don't like the way it fits on me either. But it doesn't take away from the fact that you can love that person unconditionally and you wanna help them. But if they're returning that, that's a whole other thing. So what we wanna do is we want to start feeling as though we can get out of this ego place that we live in. It's all about me. This is difficult for a lot of people. So children live in this ego place all the time, 24 seven. So when they're little babies, you know, they're crying, you know, their diaper is wet, they're hungry, their tummy is, is upset, right? Their teeth hurt. And everything is about them. And as they get older, then they start understanding that they have to behave a certain way and they have to start being giving. And slowly and slowly, the parent teaches them how to get out of ego, hopefully, and then they can start returning love in a different way and becoming a whole other person. But the thing is, is that some people never get out of ego. This is a very sad thing. When we start seeing people and having relationships with people that don't know how, to love unconditional. So what we want to do is we want to start, start thinking about what is good for someone else. So what we have to do is we have to stop for a second and really just become more mindful. Now our society today is so busy. We have social media coming at us. We have work, we have kids, we're working on our physiques, we're working on our health, and the world is a very cloudy, busy place, isn't it? And we think that we can't give any more than what we already have. So we start feeling like we, we are trying to live for ourselves, and we should to a certain point. But if everybody is always ready to give a little more, then there we can start to start accepting people and start giving to people. And if everybody was doing that on their own, then we can truly become loving instead of living in the ego. This is something that is so important. If some people get it, some people don't. And that's a shame when they don't get it. But we have to start thinking about what the other person needs, what the other person wants. And when you can truly get there, then you have achieved loving unconditionally. So I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you got something out of it. So after this video, go and give somebody a hug and start thinking about their needs instead of yours. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can watch more videos about winning at life. This is Sharon Koenig and I am out.